So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today with another video, time is ticking, PES 2018, just around the corner, I've got a hurricane to deal with over here in Florida, so I wanted to put something out there for you guys, and today, you know what, we've seen enough demo action, we've seen the same teams and the same players, I can't be asked with it, you know, I, honestly I'm not even playing the demo at this point, I'm waiting for the full game, so we're going to kind of have a bit of a PES 2018 roundup, I've gone in there, I've typed in PES 2018 with the old hashtag. There's a couple of things. I won't show everything because the embargo isn't really up till Monday. Um, so ultimately, I'm not going to really spoil anything. But I did see something about... Yeah, we're not going to wire. See, these are a couple of spoilers there. I'll skip through them. You guys can watch them if you want uh, your own accord. Uh, but we're going to go through sort of the top five players and all that. But anyway, I did see something about a day one patch that someone said what they had fixed and it was like attacking and defensive levels had been improved something about a faster game speed uh, people weren't happy about that but I think that was more because the input lag had been solved and the player switching had been tweaked and it kind of made the game faster you know what I mean like then I don't think Columbia have made the game faster they've tweaked things that ultimately will in turn make things quicker the player switching the input lag the responsiveness all sort of comes into play anyway the day one patch i saw looked quite intriguing and like it had fixed quite a few things uh, but anyway let's have a look at the first thing usain bolt okay so there's his uh, i was gonna say ugly mug uh, he's not ugly really you know he's not my cup of tea i'm more into the ladies but there he is usain bolt that's what he's gonna look like when you get him if you do pre-order now what's his stats going to be like well they have released them and he is going to be a left winger because i think he's left footed uh an overall 75 but of course a 99 speed with a 99 explosive power um which is going to make him pretty deadly uh, if he gets away from anyone to be honest i mean he may not he's not going to have the best touch he's not going to have the best dribbling you know he's also he's almost going to be like a peter crouch but a hell of a lot faster, but not as sort of technically uh, good as Crouch. Crouch has got some great feet, don't get me wrong, but he's not quick. I think Usain Bolt is the opposite. Very fast, but he hasn't got that kind of skill. So let me know your thoughts. Are you happy with him being a 99-99? Uh, we'll see what he's like online. I mean, if he, if he does get too powerful, I think, you know, Konami have got to nerf him some way or somehow, because he's not even a real, you know, professional footballer technically. Anyway, there he is in all his glory so let's have a look at some of the top five speedsters so we've got uh uber miang abba miang ing miang whatever you guys want to call him because however i pronounce it someone always says something so i'm just going to call him yang so yang is a 97 uh gareth bale 95 sane is a 95 bella into 95 walcott is a 94 um i mean walcott apart from pace nowadays just doesn't too too much to be honest neither does bellerin but yeah, um, let's have a look actually at the top 20 fastest players, shall we? Because that's more interesting. So, Asore is a 93. All these players are 93s. Yedlin, obviously American. Uh, Wellington, Musa, Vardy is a 93. Mane is a 93. Uh, Salah is a 93. Becker is a 94. Traore is a 94. Kevin uh, or Carl Walker is a 94. And then Walcott. Well, that's not right then, is it? How can that be the top five? Um, well, they've left this guy out, and Babu is apparently a 95. So that isn't right. That list is either wrong, or this one's wrong. One or the other. Uh, but Walcott apparently is number six here, number five in the other one. I mean, I like to see. Look, if this, if they're going on by speedsters, which I don't know what that means. Better acceleration, better top speed. I oh, know it's top speed. There it is. Sorry, idiot. But like Marcus Rashford should be on there. I think he's very quick. It was even. One weekend, he was the fastest player in the Premier League. So, I think he's really got to be up there. But it's all give and take. I mean, whoever does the stats has a hard time of it. Because, you know, how do you know how fast the player is unless you're actually running with him? So, either way, those are the top 20. Give me your thoughts. Now, top goalkeepers. Of course, Neuer remains number one. With 91, Buffon is an 89, De Gea is an 88, All Black an 88, and Courtois is an 88. Now, I would say De Gea, honestly, De Gea now, for me, he's got to be up there as number one. You know, Buffon's, yeah, always been good, but he's getting older. 
pretty much done. If he is done, don't know. Um, but De Gea should be up there now, the 91-92. In fact, I honestly think they need to rate these higher. To solve the issue of the goalies being, you know, maybe too easy sometimes, give De Gea a 93, give Neuer a 93, 94. You know, give your black a 91. Up the stats, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, just make them better than they have to be. And that way, it's a lot tougher to beat these types of goalies. Because it is. If, if you put the ball down in front of De Gea and said, hey, try and beat him from 20 yards, you probably wouldn't. It'd be too good for you. Uh, obviously, professionals are a little bit better. They've got more accuracy. But still, I like to see him up the stats of the goalies just a wee bit more. But I still think De Gea... Hey, I'm a Man United fan. Call me biased. But I think he's proved his worth over the last couple of years when he's been... What has he been? The best goalie in the league for the last two, three seasons. Moving on. We've got some Real Madrid faces. Um, is this Asensio right there? Looking uh, pretty good. He's having one hell of a start to the season. Everything he touches turns into a goal. Uh, Isco, unbelievable. What I would love to see here... Get these beards, Konami, into edit mode. Look at it. A hell of a lot better than we've seen. And, you know, it works well with the hair. The hair's looking slick. I think uh, that looks phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And there is Sergio Ramos as he uh, has that magic hair that he always has. So, yeah, good-looking Real Madrid players there. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, there he is in all his glory. Finally got an upgrade after about three or four years. It's been a while. It's funny how Konami, you know, have decided to update his face the same year that Ronaldo is now on the front of FIFA. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, there it is. Sweat coming down. Hopefully this time players will start sweating, you know, after or during a match and not before because I often saw that a couple of times. And here's just one uh, from old Carrasco, Pez Universe member. Unbelievable making uh, kits, by the way. Something he's done here of Lionel Messi and just goes to show you the detail they have of the tattoo... I don't know exactly what Messi's tattoo looks like. I'm guessing it looks like that. But it's done well. It's detailed. Once again, the beard's there. Grass is coming down from his face. And, um, yeah, there's just some images. So let's uh, let's plow through a couple of more things and see if we can find anything out of interest. One thing I did want to talk about, look. The Pez... 2018 option file coming from Pez Universe. Okay, we are aiming for a worldwide release, which means the 14th of September. We've had so many people emailing asking me, where is my option file? Well, the game isn't out. Whether you have it pirated or off the black market or wherever you got your copy from, if you have it now, unfortunately, it's not actually out, really, technically. So we won't have it till the 14th. Um, USBs, we will ship as close to launch as possible. So you will get them as soon as everything has been completed. But we are hoping this year will be a lot earlier than last year. So don't worry too much about that. Yeah, we have less than a week to go. Remember the pre-order bonuses you will get for the premium edition, which I've pre-ordered on Steam. Uh, Usain Bolts, of course, 99 speed, 99 acceleration. You'll get the UEFA Champions League agent for my club. A partner, team, agent, four-time startup agent, 10,000 GP for 10 weeks. Do the maths. That's 100 GP. Well done. And exclusive cards from the UEFA Champions League collection. I don't know if I'll get that. I don't think so. That's probably uh, a physical copy of the game. I don't know if this is true. The 10 best players in PES 2018. Uh, I really don't know if that's true or not. If I'm being perfectly honest with you. If it is, Messi's above Ronaldo. I think Maradona's at the top. Although, Sip Maradona was a, a, an 83 when you pre-ordered him. Maybe there's different versions of uh, Maradona. And here's a couple of screens. Uh, Sweden against Italy. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of having like half... You know, you've got half real faces and you've got half fake ones. So, you know, kind of Italy looks good. Everyone looks legit. And then Sweden, it's like... Mm, Disappointing, but hey, you win some, you lose some. Uh, here's United and East Midlands, which is Leicester City. Uh, remember, the uh, transfers are not up to date, and they won't be up to date until the game is out. So yes, Rooney is in the team, as well as a couple of other players that shouldn't be there. Fossu Mensah's gone. Um, so yeah, those will all be fixed. Accordingly, once the game is officially out and we'll have Lukaku in there and all that fun stuff. 
So, just the usual spiel, but that is about it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put quick videos, another one cutscene from Master League. We're not going to ruin it, you can watch it yourself. Uh, here's Ronaldo's goal celebration with option file kits of Real Madrid. Yes, he does do the fwa thing when he scores a goal. But yeah, just to show you guys, people are getting the game. Um, lucky, lucky boys, lucky girls. And yeah, we are going to be making kits, bashing out our option file as soon as we can. Anyway, hopefully I survived this hurricane. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back very, very shortly when I finally get some uh, time to sit down because I'm actually heading off somewhere for a, well, you know, the hurricane because I want to be safe and uh, not die. But until next time, hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.